Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. You're with Tesla Tom this morning. Um, today I just wanted to talk about the expected life expectancy of a Powerwall 2 battery. Um, those of you who have seen my video on the payback time for the Tesla Powerwall 2 and the 5 kilowatt solar array uh, will know that there are a lot of comments on just how long they can expect uh, a battery to last um, for the Powerwall 2. Uh, and I guess in general for electric vehicles and other battery products. And I guess that's a very reasonable question to ask given that you're investing a lot of money in such a product. So I'm going to um, go through on what I feel the situation is currently uh, with regards to Tesla's battery. Obviously the Powerwall 2 is still a new product. So there's not a lot of data out there on um, how long the battery life is. All I can do is um, base it off information on the internet. And I guess the, the most um, comprehensive a data collection is with um, this uh, European group called uh, Max Range, and um, what they've been doing over the last few years is been collecting um, the battery life uh, for or for users around the world, um, particularly in Europe. And uh, there's a big, you know, a lot of data here on this chart here, which is a public spreadsheet, by the way, available on Google Drive for anyone to see. Um, and it's actually quite impressive because it, you know, goes through in quite detail information about how much uh, each person drives each day, how much they supercharge, what their range is currently. And I'll go through the stats here of this public spreadsheet. Charging to 100% more frequently doesn't have a negative effect on degradation, but users should be aware that keeping the battery at zero 100% for more than two hours is not good for the battery. That is an important point with regards to the Powerwall 2 because uh, I do get asked about whether it's healthy to keep the Powerwall 2 at 100%, uh, but it seems like with the car, um, with the Tesla cars, it uh, doesn't seem to have a negative effect if you keep the charge at 100% for less than two hours per day, which I guess in my situation doesn't occur too often. I don't really reach 100% um, with a three kilowatt array in my house for more than two hours at a time in the middle of the day for the Powerwall 2. What does it say here? So, uh, near full discharge is bad for the battery. Okay, so that's kind of obvious. You know, don't, don't reduce your charge down to 0% too often. I set my reserve at 20% normally for my Powerwall 2. Okay, so this is where I have interest because this relates to the Powerwall 2. So this is the car I know, but um, basically it charts all the, all the users and where they're at currently with the battery life. And as you can see, uh, let's look at this one here because this goes from 0 to 100%. Um, I can just reduce the size of this and we can get a better view of what's going on with this chart. Okay, so you know, users... Um, uh, from this um, data are starting to reach 250,000 kilometers in their car and beyond which is quite impressive after only four or five years of ownership as you can see them you know according to the best fit for the red line um, most vehicles even after reaching that much don't re degrade their battery more than about 90 percent if you zoom in on this chart here which is the higher chart so as you can see even after 250,000 kilometers the best fit line obviously with a few outliers out here, but the best fit line tends to reach that 90% after 250,000 kilometers. Um, and if you change that to number of cycles, so even after about 900 cycles, it's still pretty good. It's still about above 90%. So what's a cycle? It's how many times you reach 0% from 100% full charge. And that can be a summation of um, multiple partial charges as well. So if you, if you say you only use 20%, every day. So after five days, that's 100%. Five times 20% is 100%. If that counts as one cycle. So after a thousand cycles, still above 90%. And the age of the battery doesn't actually correlate with the, the calendar age. It's actually relating to number of cycles, I guess, and how many times you use the battery, which is interesting. I mean, the car, I mean, certainly in my situation, my Tesla Model S, I don't drive 100% of my battery every single day. I don't drive 300 kilometers a day. Uh, I only drive about, at the most, 60 to 70 kilometers a day. So um, I guess that's comforting for me to know that my calendar lifespan is going to be longer only because the number of cycles uh, counts as number of partial cycles which is great and that I guess that also applies to the Powerwall 2. With the Powerwall 2 we certainly cycle more as in I would probably go from a full charge to about 20% charge every day more so than I would do for my car uh, but having said that it's encouraging to know that um, you know even after a thousand cycles um, it's only 90%. So what's a thousand cycles if you were to fully discharge your battery in your house every day? Um, 365 days in a year, so that's about three and a half years worth of charging and discharging if you, um, if you account for one charge, one cycle per day. So after three and a half years, you're about 95%, 90%. 
Um, and I guess that correlates well with this electric article. Um, sorry, this one here. So this electric article uh, discusses the research done by uh, Jeff Dan, who is a renowned battery researcher and the leader of Tesla's research partnership through his battery research group of Dalhousie University, which is in Halifax, Canada. Um, so he's obviously simulated a number of life cycles uh, of a cell, a battery cell, and that you can see in his charts here that um, you know at about 1,200 cycles, um, it's still about 95, 90% for his batteries, which is good. Um, and he's quoting that um, you know 1,200 cycles relates to 480,000 kilometers, which is about 25 years of battery life. That's quite impressive. Uh, and I guess there's a bit of bias, obviously, because Dan is now working for Tesla. So whether the 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 uh, data is skewed or you know, biased a little bit towards longer battery life, uh, that's for you to decide. Um, and this data, by the way, is based on, and this data also the, the max range survey. So all this information is based on Model S and Model X owners who are using the old 18650 um, battery. Um, uh, now the new Model 3 batteries are the 2170 battery cells and they're a little bit different. Um, they are actually denser. 30% denser and um, 30% hold 30% more charge in that battery compared to the old ones. And this is the type of battery that the Powerwall 2 now has as well, the 2170 battery. It's arguable whether the, the new cell is actually more efficient and has a longer life than the old ones. But nevertheless, uh, the old Model S, Model X cells are looking good already. And I guess it's hard to reconcile that with uh, my skeptical self and uh, I guess a lot of your skepticism too watching this you know, we, we all own laptops and cell phones, um, you know, and, and so all sorts of lithium ion devices around. And we all know that after three or four years, if that, um, these laptops tend to die, just the batteries just don't last that long. Um, you know, I had to replace my laptop battery recently, uh, just because after about 300 cycles, the battery health said, you know, poor. Um, and what does poor mean? I think everyone's got an arbitrary setting for poor. I think it's about 80% for Apple. So up to three years, it was 80%. Um, so I guess the fanboy and the optimist in me for Tesla is saying, well, there must be something in Tesla's product uh, that is making the batteries last longer. Maybe they've come across something that we don't know. Um, they certainly surely wouldn't sell a product like uh, the S or the X or the Powerwall 2, which only has a lifespan of about three or four years. I mean, that just wouldn't make sense financially, right? They're, but Tesla would basically be broke by now if everyone started to complain that my car battery or my Tesla Powerwall 2 battery is dying and I've spent all this money on it. But yeah, we've got the data here. I'm a, I'm a scientific person. I like to see data. And, um, and it's good to see the people collecting the data for pos posterity. One more thing I'm going to show you is the, the Powerwall 2 warranty. Now, this is the official Australian warranty. Uh, I assume the one in America is quite similar and the one in Europe too. But it says that... Um, it warrants the battery uh, for you know, solar self-consumption backup, which is 90% of usage for Tesla Powerwall 2 batteries around the world, that it has a 70% retention at 10 years following the initial installation date. So Tesla's telling us that we, they will guarantee or, or warrant the battery for 70% uh, up to 10 years. So does that fit with this chart here where uh, the degradation kind of, yeah, initially, sure, in the first, you know, 100, 200 cycles, it drops dramatically. But then it starts to slowly, you know, slowly, slowly peter out. So it's like a, what do you call it, like a reverse exponential graph. Um, it certainly does plateau very quickly. Uh, so that's that's quite reassuring, kind of quite encouraging. And, of course, um, there's a warrant for unlimited cycles as well. So that's interesting, too. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, I'll certainly keep an eye on this... Um, uh, on my battery, uh, my Powerwall 2 battery. I'll do a you know regular update with my YouTube videos um, and discharge it for you and just to give you an update as to what, how um, uh, how efficient it is uh, after X amount of time. And hopefully we'll see a similar chart to this where, sure, initially it drops a little bit to 95%, but then it should peter out and should plateau out as time goes on. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you today. Um, that uh, just with the data that... Um, is out and with experts telling us that the Tesla battery is uh, probably a little bit better than most laptop batteries and most cell phone batteries and that it should last a bit longer than the average sort of three to four years that, um, that people sort of bandy around with uh, lithium-ion batteries. Um, so it's all good news and 
good news too that um, you, know, you can keep your battery at 100% for at least up to two hours and it should be pretty safe just with the data that they've got. And of course, the other flip side is don't, don't discharge your battery to 0% if you can help it. And I certainly don't do that. It just make, makes common sense to me. Don't, don't let your phone or your laptop or your car or your power wall to your battery run flat. That's the bottom line. Thank you for watching. Um, that's my little update on how I feel the Tesla Powerwall 2 battery uh, its lifespan is going to be. Uh, obviously, it's all it's all hearsay. It's all um, speculation and uh, hypotheses at this stage. You know, no one's had a Powerwall 2 or even a car from Tesla for that long yet. It hasn't even been what is it? Not even like barely six years from the first Roadster and from the first production car, barely four years. So we're still early days. Um, it's still in the early adoption phase and you know, it'll be interesting in coming years as we pave the way for the mainstream population to uh, you know, come on board and, and join the electric revolution. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, it's a lovely day here in Sydney. Um, the sun is out, which is great. Uh, it's a lovely day where you are as well. And as always, happy charging.